Good morning, folks. Had a very nice sunset last night. Thought I'd start the day sharing something beautiful. We had another sun-diving comet yesterday, smaller than the others we've seen the last few weeks, inducing almost no flaring from the sun, but this comes from the opposite side of the Kreutz, and that makes it a much more rare sight than sun-divers in general. Speaking of comets, CIOC updated their light curve for ice on at some point yesterday. The ranges are about where they have been in terms of expectations. Now, Bruce Gary, if I may, it was never the professional community who needed you. It was us. We don't get to have that information, as you correctly state, so we rely not on people from NASA, but people like you in our online community. The officials probably hide the data because of the insane things people tend to do with this information, which you've seen, and which is likely the impetus for your other comment. But also, Mr. Gary, that is a wholly unfair thing to put on all of us. Welcome to the challenge of discussing things people don't understand. Trust me, sir, I feel your pain. And these people will never stop faking UFOs in your pictures, and never stop believing idiots on the internet who've copied and pasted the same doom story from comet to comet over the last decade. You should have seen this place in 2011. We've come a long way, and need people like you more than you know. Speaking of people who pull blatant frauds out of real science models, the officials have put ice on back on the animal spiral, and while I didn't catch it last time, I can now see why some of you got confused about the apparent trajectory of that pink box coming at the yellow dot. Except, that's not how this works. If you go like that, Mars appears to be flying into space and Venus looks like it's going to crash into Earth in a month. But that's just the failure of this model. It's more about solar wind, CME tracking, and it's incapable, incapable of showing object trajectory. I said blatant fraud in this regard because the man putting out those fear-mongering lies has extensive knowledge of this model. I know him. He knows what it shows, and the fact that it's not capable of showing anything like he said. That guy knows better, and he lied on purpose. Coming back to the dissenters on yesterday's Alpha and Wave physical effects mechanisms, you know who you are, and this paper is for the four of you. This is a bit more relevant for those digging deep into Landshite and the next possible Ice Age describing the cycles and triggering effects of grand minima. Got a cyclone popping in the West Pacific. We'll get a good idea of her final track tonight. In the Atlantic, we have central development that is expected to possibly make landfall in Europe. Tazzy sending her severe outbreak over to New Zealand. Hello. Europe has snow warnings north and northeast, wind and lightning warnings along the leading convergence. Snow still coming down in the Rockies. South of that, we have octave remnants still shooting moisture up the eastern states. We have about the same level of solar flaring, intermediate pops but nothing major. The sunspots that have been earth facing are now turning away, it may still flare but CMEs will not be earth directed. Meanwhile I cannot spot any real magnetic mixing on the incoming groups, the cresting sunspots appear to be the champions of this next wave. Solar wind speed falling as the coronal hole impact is waning along with all geomagnetic instability. The coronal holes are earth facing today have been gaining power and we have had back-to-back -back days of seven-point earthquakes, Philippines and PNG. The umbral and coronal fields pop back open immediately after closing. Interestingly, last night the northern earth-facing opening weakened, with the southern incomer gaining some strength. We'll see here tonight or tomorrow. Full moon tomorrow as well, filaments all over the disc, got incoming sunspots to watch, SDO and my colorized iris slit jaw videos. Lockheed should take over that for me soon, I hope. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.50 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.